In this video, let's talk about my most recent addition to the Mini Synth series, the Mini Delay. It's just a basic 3-knob delay effect module. It has time, repeats, and level controls. I set it up to handle Eurorack level inputs and outputs. This is my first SMT-based PCB and I'm pretty happy that I was able to get the entire module down to two boards as compared to my usual three. With that, I'd like to thank PCBWay for providing me with the PCBs, sourcing the parts, and assembling the PCBs for me. I'll talk more about the PCB assembly process later. First, let's talk about the delay. This one's based around the classic PT2399IC. It's a popular IC designed by Princeton Technologies commonly used to produce echo effects on karaoke machines. It's very easy to find, so it's a great IC to work with for beginners who'd like to explore DIY reverb, delays, and even chorus effects. I myself have built guitar pedals and a couple of modules using it already. You can get them in this dip through hole format which you can use on breadboards and perf boards. But for this build, I opted to use the much smaller surface mounted version. This let me design the board with a really tiny 4 HP footprint. One common issue about the PT2399 is that it can clip pretty easily when given signals that are too hot. This is why I used the circuit based on Rene Schmidt's delay build to attenuate the input significantly. The circuit also boosts the signal at the output to match the other synth modules. I wanted to keep this build simple for now because it was my first time designing SMT circuits and I didn't want to troubleshoot an overly complicated thing if I messed up. Now, moving on to the build process, I didn't actually do much soldering in this build because I tried out PCB Waste assembly service. They didn't pay me to do this section but I still wanted to talk about it because I was also curious about the process at first and it might help other beginners like me. Like my earlier modules, I designed the circuit and PCB on KiCad. I exported those into Gerber files and placed orders for the front panel and the main board on the website. For the assembly service, I had to prepare a bill of materials that contains specific information about the parts I need them to install. For this build, I chose to let them do both SMT and through-hole components such as pots and jacks. The BOM file contains quantities, values, manufacturer numbers, and so on. I also had to generate a centroid file for the main board. To do that, I first had to set the origin point of my file to the lower left corner of my PCB frame. I then went to File, Fabrication Output, and then clicked on Footprint Position File. This generates the POS file that PCBWay needs in order to assemble my board. I then proceeded to the assembly section of their site. I picked the turnkey option which would let PCBWay order the parts for me. I then used the order number of the main board to let them know which board to assemble. I uploaded the BOM file that contains all the parts and also the centroid file that we generated earlier. After submitting the order, a sales representative contacted me through email with some clarifications about the parts. They couldn't source the jacks, so I told them I'll install those myself. After confirming the details, the verification process was done. I was then able to check out the order. The boards arrived here at our door in the Philippines 17 days after I placed the order, which was pretty fast considering that part of that was waiting for the pots to arrive at their factory. The assembled PCBs arrived individually packed like this along with the front panels. They also sent the leftover unassembled boards. I plan to assemble these myself as SMT soldering practice later on. I hope this quick overview helps. Docs and files for this build are on my website, benjelmodular.com. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this quick demo of the mini delay.